Oh, hear that debt tick in the background. Yeah, we are <laughs> in game number one from week number two. Or the two bags in question mark, so I'm not sure. Unfortunately, question mark, not particularly communicative Useful. as it turns out. So yeah, we're we just going to keep going. We have time a game being. between Rahi, Dermis, Tudback, and Diverchi, who is subbing. So thanks to him. We do have a Russian colony here on Ceres. There's this really nice spot over here to the bottom left hand side of the colony. Lots of resources, lots of iron, some aluminum, some caves, some water, some silicon, some uranium. By the way, we do have robots, scavengers, nomads, and elites. A robotics HQ and a robotics HQ found. is going to be the first found. Um, yeah, that's interesting. The low steel price really would tempt me to end up as a as a steel Scavenger user this time HQ around. Another robot Let's see. by Rahi. Yeah, really important that there are no scientists, by the way, because there was a very, very tempting uh, iron water patch there, but uh, nobody's going to be able to abuse it the way they'd want. That is a bold move out of Dermis. I like it. If you're going to go elite on a series, this is the kind of spot that you're looking for. Yeah, you've got uranium, you've got silicon, you've got the iron all right there. There is some aluminum, not too far away. If, Cause usually you end up wanting to have a little aluminum on hand. We'll see it. We'll see how that Water plays out this time. By. Yeah. I mean, it's just a really good overall spot, quite frankly. So it is the kind of thing you're looking for as an elite, something that's just strong, something that'll power you on through the initial levels. Last found was Tudbeck going in this crater with a high and medium carbon going for a uh, couple uh, metal mines over here getting some aluminum and then thinking better of it one's going to be water I think and moving nope never mind still aluminum moving into two chemical refineries yeah lots of aluminum gonna be coming in there which is an interesting choice against uh, two robots and an elite feels a little unnecessary to me but I guess we'll see how it pans out a little bit nervous about the scavenger found in particular because there are underground nukes this time around. Of course, uh, one of scavengers main benefits is the fact that they don't have diminishing resources, but the underground nukes might be turned against you because you're going to end up with the best stuff. So we'll just have to watch and see how that plays out. We, Along that same vein, I'm actually a little concerned about the fact that nobody the took nuke. the best silicon on the map. No surprise. Interestingly enough, it does hit the high. This indicates to me that we should be seeing a large number of nukes come down trying to get through all of this, because if you're just going to throw one nuke, of course, you always want to target that medium. medium. So I'd expect to see a few more coming down here on Tudback. We do have Rahi able to move up to HQ3 whenever she so desires, has enough money in the bank. Power is Scavenger rising HQ very quickly, and the Elite's actually the first HQ3, followed closely behind by Rahi and Tudback. That said, Tudback had a huge amount of cash set aside for that, so maybe just a little a little bit of a delay on him actually pressing the button while he worked out what it was he wants to do. Also, he'll be in the best spot to immediately actually abuse the fact that he's three, able to get into two nuclear plants immediately. So, uh little bit behind on the actual upgrade, but maybe ahead in his overall position at this stage of the game. Right. Now that's something that Dermis is the elites definitely going to want to do as fast as possible, moving to some power, but all of his claims are already been used. He is, however, going for two uranium metal mines. So that should suggest that we do have some nukes on the way, and there's a first one being built. Yeah, no Extra big claim for 24k. Worth it, I would say. Easily worth it. I was also looking at over at the colony, you actually have a really fantastic uh, location in a lot of ways. There's a three adjacency for machine shops up there. And as an elite, I'm looking at that like, oh boy, I really want some of that. Because those machine shops, they're one of those things that have started tilting me more in the elite direction just because you can get your upgrades out so much faster. And it's that it's that crucial thing that elites need to be able to do is get those upgrades going. So uh, 
be interesting to see where Dermis throws this extra claim. Still sitting, sitting in the bank for the time being. So there was one downside to founding robots, and we didn't mention it, but that it is a machine shop, so electronics are going high, and I don't recall off the top of my head if electronics did start at 200. I think they did. Either that or they went up very sharply. Very quickly. And that is yeah. one of the reasons why Debrucci is having a difficult time upgrading to HQ3. The other reason, because they are not producing any steel. Yeah, no steel productions. They've just been a little bit relying on the whims of Dermis and Rahi. Helpful that steel did not start expensive, of course. Certainly going to be beneficial. And of course, also moving into that food, maybe not exactly what you're looking for. Stu did, food did not start off particularly expensive. And on top of that, two robots, that's not a huge amount of pressure on that price. So it just has not been as profitable as Devarucci would have been hoping for. Two back, first of four. As expected... At this point in the game, the scavenger is leading uh, a little bit early on the mutiny on Rahi's solar panel. Mutinied it about two and a half hours before daylight started. I suppose, but on series, I have a lot more trouble criticizing that just because, honest, the mutiny lasts so long compared to the day that you're going to go it's through true. A, a night cycle at least. I don't know when the exact best time is to start, if it, how much it matters, Silence. but uh, I hate this either way, things. probably going to be okay. Tudback has paid off all of their debt right, in the power market. Dermis should pay off all of his debt too. Yeah, that will happen before the power price crashes. Tudback moving into a hacker array. I do want to point out, though, pretty close for Dermis, and so you do have to wonder, was the extra claim worth it, given that it effectively cost him 24000 cash, rather than the, uh, the or 2428 whatever he spent on it. That was basically cash that he had to spend on that, rather than the debt. And when you're playing an Elite, you really want to get through those upgrades quickly, and you can make it up, make up for it with a lot more claims later on. So I do wonder if, if that ended up paying out the way he wanted it to. I mean, that is, it is possible there because he did go so heavy into power, but on the other hand, yeah, 24k in cash, or you can just view it as a more or less free claim. That is another way to look at it, which is so it, it, not a bad thing. It all depends. Like, Dermis is going, where you found Elite, you're going for the late game, obviously. Since Committing to that they idea. Shot, they shine, so have, that extra claim will more than pay for itself assuming Dermis can get into the late game. And having zero debt as an elite on series is one good way to get to into the late game. Rahi probably being the least decisive robot I've ever encountered. <laughs> that's uh, that's an interesting territory right there. Also, picks up a hologram for 12,000. I'm actually a bit surprised that went as low as it did. Even with spies available, having the one hologram on the map can be surprisingly beneficial in the right situation. Dermis did move into the first Pleasure Dome. Well, I'd hope so. It's going to make <laughs> eh, positive money even when accounting for debt because power is pretty cheap and for series anyway, chemicals are cheap. Yeah, chemicals not too bad yet. There are no laboratories at the colony. Certainly kind of an important thing for for keeping that chem price in check. And the Pleasure Dome, usually just a good source of money for an elite. I mean, it's not necessarily as much as he wants it to be at the moment, but it's not bad for a single tile. And these solar condensers also doing some good work. Water's starting to get pretty pricey. That's because Deverucci is still in three farms, now finally cycling out of them, realizing that by themselves they'd be losing money. Hopefully going to go into some steel mills because Rahi and Dermis do not have enough steel production up for three. At least Dermis didn't when he was still running those three nuclear plants. Yeah, we now saw both of them just sitting on two steel mills for a long time. Now they've kind of reacted to the fact that Devarucci hasn't really expressed much interest in the market until very recently. So I, this price might start crashing out pretty fast, depending on how fast these upgrades start coming. That's a lot of black market. That is. I was just going to comment that we haven't seen too much black market, and then we get four in a row. Yeah, that was... That felt a bit excessive. That was kind of exciting, but... 
At the end of the day, let's see what we've ended up with. Two back is, well, very, very frozen for the time being. And Rahi's had an electronics factory taken away. That's just a bit odd. <laughs> Dude back was uh, not certain that this pleasure dome was actually a pleasure dome, so he decided to both network virus it and spy it. That's that's one way to be absolutely certain about something. One does think that if you're going to be dropping the spy, you really don't need the virus to go with it. But hey, that's all right. That's all right, I suppose. Well, now we have a hologram up for auction. How much do you think this is worth on series? More than the 12,000 it went for last time, personal opinion. On top of that, on top of that, spies are already up at 20, frankly. Mm -hmm. And you've still got extra extra space you can get, so you kind of know that those spies have probably been mostly placed. By the way, Tudback has placed five oh. spies himself. Six spies, excuse me. So... <laughs> yeah, Tudback's spy cover is pretty good. Yes. Um, probably as absolute as you can get, but 10,000, I don't think that's enough for a hologram. And by pretty good, I mean I don't see any spies from anybody else. Yeah, I think he's bought literally all of them, which is committed. That's committed, and actually kind of impressive, given that for a long time he did have a cash lead over everyone, but he seems to have made everyone else nervous. On top of that, he never moved into the steel market when everybody else was, and so now everybody else sitting on a nice pile of cash and... Dudeback seems to be falling behind since he's just using his hacker ray to play around rather than make money. Yeah, he's also losing a lot of money to life support and the fuel, despite having a positive 500 power. Yeah, not, not really a great spot to be in. And that's I mean, potentially why he's surplusing fuel, although I do have to question if that is the correct move rather than rather than adjusting into the resource a little bit it's just it's a difficult call regardless Tupac does manage to hit five at about the same time that rahi does yeah well part of the reason why he was not moving into fuel is those electronic factories for a long time were making more money per single pile than the electrolysis reactor they're now a little bit less at 115 per single tile versus 121 from Tudback's perspective. Worth noting that he has put a fair amount of time into that, going ahead and getting those upgraded. Of course, it can be a nice thing to do, I think, in combination with the hacker array, is to get some electronics upgraded so that they're good money makers. Combo that with a hacker array, because other people won't be making electronics because they don't have it upgraded. It's not nearly as efficient. That's just how the electronics resource works. And it could work out well for him long term, but so far he's just been shorting other things, and I'm not sure that's the correct direction to go this game, especially with all the machine shops that are on the board. Well, Rahi's been making fuel for a pretty Bank. long time, and uh, she has a sizable cash pile at on hand at HQ5. The only person with the larger stockpile is Dermis, but Dermis is still in HQ4, and that's going to cost Dermis 60, about half of his stock cash just to upgrade to HQ5. Yeah, I mean, that is, it's going to be a ridiculous amount of money. A lot of that in steel. Steel has just stayed absurdly expensive this whole time. And Rahi, Rahi in particular, has to be happy about that. This high steel price keeps down Dermis, which is great. It's also a great source of cash, potentially, for quite some time. If he ever wants to upgrade, that's just going to be another boost to the price. It's just, I'd be feeling, honestly, pretty good if I was Rahi right now. That said, Deborucci kind of recovering, has also made it to HQ5, 57,000 in the bank, just no late game moves yet, and that is definitely a concern. Yeah, definitely a concern. You do need at least one optimization center on series, just by default, if not two, for every single game, and especially when all these prices, look at all these triple digits above 300, above 400. There's lots and lots of money to be made on World. One thing I'm surprised about is we had the one nuke and that was it. Yeah, we should have seen more nukes. I don't like that nuke. I do not like a single nuke like that at all. It's just, it's awful in my opinion. We are going to have more nukes coming down now. Rahi has got one picked up, so we'll see how that goes. But frankly, 
I hate seeing that one nuke drop. There could have been a pretty heavy commitment to literally just knocking two back out of the game. I mean, what's he gonna do if you nuke all his stuff? He just, he's just gonna die. There is not enough carbon on this map for him to really, for him to take that hit and be okay. And I, I would have liked to see some moves like that because we can see two back, he's been sitting on that. He was on the optimization center for a long time. Still has one, it's just been mutinied away from him for the moment. He's got a lot of cash on hand, he's got a lot of stock on hand. He's been allowed to stay in this, and that was just completely unnecessary this game. Yep, and then uh, both Tudback and Rahi have about the same amount of cash, at least before Tudback bought into all their stock. Tudback's getting to get aggressive into Dermis. Dermis has a little bit less cash to retaliate than Rahi and still needs to get to that HQ5 upgrade. Dermis is struggling a little bit because he decided to move out of two of those four steel mills, put down a patent lab and an optimization center, and steel is still too much. ridiculously high. Making yeah, a it's... bet that hasn't really worked for this entire game. I don't know if it's a, a bet, it's just Dermis has been sitting here burning all of his money away. And now, there are some ways where I can forgive that, because steel was very expensive, aluminum very expensive, glass very expensive. The upgrade itself is extremely expensive to get to, but frankly, with how much commitment these players have done into this, these chemical-consuming buildings, the patent labs and the optimization centers, it's no longer really cost-effective to be working on those either. And so, there needed to be more of a commitment to just making money out of Dermis, rather than committing to this long-term play, especially on series, where there is most certainly money to be made. And I don't really like the move on Dermis. It's one of the reasons I just hate elites on series in general. There's so much money to be made. You don't need to make those long-term commitments to all these extra tiles and such from the optimization centers. You just need to make some money and kill someone. And Tudback is the embodiment of that right now. Yeah, Tudback, despite getting hit by all of Pretty much everything in terms of <laughs> the black market right now. Tudback still has a little bit less cash than Rahi on hand, and that's despite owning two more pips of stock in Dermis. The black oh boy. He's going to get to HQ5 better late than never, I suppose. Going to move into triple chemicals. But still, if I'm Tudback, I see that HQ level 5, and I'm like, oh, it is time. It is time. We want to make this happen because in eight, as somebody that's HQ4, yeah, you can pick them up, but in a lot of ways you don't really want to because you're going to reset their cash. They're not going to get upgraded to five anytime soon. It's actually not that great a subsidiary in a game state like this because they will eventually want to upgrade. That's going to reset their cash back to zero. It's just bad. But somebody who's already five, they're going to start making you money right away. And that money is just going to climb until the AI does something ridiculous like build an off-world market. Wants to do that extremely fast because look at the cash stockpiles that both Rahi and Devarucci are sitting on right now. Both of them have very, very high stockpiles. So Tudback could buy out Dermis and then be subject to a split between Rahi and Devarucci and might not be able to do anything about it. It is definitely a concern. That may be part of why he's holding back right now. Personally, I'm well, I'm an Matt, aggressive you, player. You've committed. You got to go, go, go yeah. for it. That is the other part to it. You have already made a commitment. Now he could be waiting to see if if he can maybe pick up he's a more for the powerful shortage player. to go, and then he'll uh, probably make the buy. I like to see him shorting electronics. Finally, that's something I've been wanting to see for a while. Finally, it does come through. Devarucci. All right, Devarucci, get in. Dermis. And Devarucci's going to beat Tudback. Yeah, he's just going to take the full buy there. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, if I'm Tudback, now you're looking at picking up Rahi. That's... Yep. It's interesting. That's interesting. I was not expecting something like that to play out. Huh. Oh, and Rahi's going into Devarucci, which means that if I'm Tudback, I'm really looking to take out Rahi. <laughs> Yes, uh, start buying into Rahi, maybe after she does her second pip into Devaruchi, or right now, one of the two. Yeah, it's, it's such an easy pickup. Like, I guess you could also go after Devaruchi. You've got enough cash that you can maybe hold on and wait and split with Rahi a little bit and still be in a great spot. Either way, though, Tootback, just having those two, those two extra pips in Dermis feels like a really big deal right now, because you can see his stock price is keeping up with Devaruchi's. He's decided that, nope, Tudback is 
dangerous, and that's true because Tudbeck has 100% on Rahi. Rahi knows that. Tudbeck just realizing going, perhaps man. selling out of everything well, waiting for this hack to go through, so going to start the buy into the pips of stock right there. Once, Once hack, this hack is done, Rahi should be gone. Right, he's gonna throw down some nukes as a final I mean, that's doing great. business with you. The two bag I before guess. being bought out. All right, two bag, just get it done. I do not like this delay. Frankly, if you're no. going to take someone out, just get rid of them. Because if he hadn't messed around like that, if he had just sold down, taken the buy when he had the buy, he'd have a lot more carbon income right now, for one thing. Yep. A lot more carbon income. And then, um,. Deverucci is going to get a head start on Tudback's shares because Deverucci is sitting on a large pile of cash. However, Deverucci is, in, subsidiary. D is in fluctuating between D and C debts. So the black market's still pretty cheap, relatively speaking. 20k for the e EMPs, 20k for slowdowns. When the prices are this high, 20k for a black market item at least to me, feels worth it, usually. I do want to point out, by the way, this net profit 525 Pleasure Dome that just keeps going up for the moment as Kims are on their way down. That is that is a nice thing for your subsidiary to have. Yes, it is. Probably could have looked to two back to uh, get a Pleasure Dome up, although Rahi's going to help out with it and get a very, very awkwardly placed Pleasure Dome in position. Just because it can't be can't be an optimization. If Tudbeck loses this game, it's because he hesitated and waited so long to bind to Deverucci, waiting for the hack to go through again. While well, Deverucci got a full five stocks, meaning Deverucci's share price was immediately increased. Yeah, Tudbeck. Well, I mean, there are all kinds of things that Tudbeck has done. I think that could I do lead like to him losing this network game. Virus on a hundred negative one hundred thirty three on the chemical refineries. It's good. It's good stuff. And Deverucci, he is going to be feeling certainly some pain from that. I mean, those are pretty close to the true prices. He does not have a significant stockpile that would really mitigate any effect of this network virus. That's that's just straight up annoying for him. Can't rotate. Can't do much of anything. All right. Well, we're settling into the very end of this game, and I gotta say, Deverucci is still looking to be in a great position. Only needs about 300,000 more to clean this up. Tudback, on the other hand, still 500,000 short, and those subsidiaries feel like they're playing a pretty big role here. Tudback's subsidiary income is now greater than Deverucci's, but feels like it's probably gonna be too little too late. 250,000, all that Deverucci requires to finish this up. Oh, it's gonna be close. Very close indeed. Another network virus. Not sure that that's going to do quite enough, but network viruses are significantly cheaper than EMPs or slowdown strikes. That's true. Deverucci. All right, and trying to make a move, buying into that carbon, trying to make the network virus as painful as he possibly can. Well, it might have been enough. 90 to 77, 78. Tudback's catching up. I just can't tell if it's going to quite get him there. These, You can see this stock difference, though. The stock ownership. The two that Tudback got, absolutely massive. Ooh, Finally, the EMP, EMP comes down. E... Oh, it's so close. It is so close. I don't know that that EMP was worth it. All right, 100%. 100%. 100%. Get... Goodbye, Devaruchi. <laughs> Tudback. That EMP so, right at the end, I don't think it was worth it. I think that might have lost Deverucci the game. That I was don't a bold move. I think it lost. Tudback, 30k. Right that at was, the end. It was really expensive, but I mean, he was pulling in 400 per tile there. So basically, if that EMP lasted for, I think, 15 seconds? Yeah, but it didn't. Did it not? It felt close. I don't, I don't know exactly how long the EMP went on. It needed 15 seconds to be worthwhile. It might not have it gotten felt like quite there. I wasn't counting, but it seemed like 10 to me. Let's see, that's not counting the nuke plants, but they weren't making money anyway. It it was a near thing. It might have, you you may be correct that it was, 
it was too expensive to actually be worthwhile by then. Obviously, we have information that they don't, that little stock ticker percentage right here on the back, but his stock ticker mm -hmm. percentage was uh, about two ahead and remaining two ahead as they were climbing. He did the right. EMP, his stalled, two backs caught up, surpassed yeah. him, and then they got 100 at almost the same time, and two back was quicker to react. Oh, that was that was more interesting than I was prepared for at the end of that game. I'll be honest, that was that was quite close. But Tudback does go ahead and get there. I think I think he just cleans that game up if he buys Dermis. To be honest, if he if he got the full buy, I honestly think he just wins the whole thing. But uh, honestly, every single time he went in for a buy, if he didn't hesitate for the would have it would have he would have we wouldn't have had a neck and neck finish. He would have won. Oh, with a few more percentage points to spare. Yeah, that's that's true. Good thing he didn't hesitate on the last buy. Just, you know, that would have been a bit unfortunate. Dermis, biggest moneymaker, was at Pleasure Dome Entertainment 218 before he got knocked out. I like it. Yeah, that Pleasure Look Dome. Look at the electronics, though. The electronics is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, he did make over a million on electronics despite hacking it, so... Yeah, 1.2 million, something like that. That's should just... have started the hack train on oh, the man. electronics a little bit earlier, perhaps. Also, also, power, power. I'm just saying, power. What on earth, guys? Rahi and Devarucci in particular, consuming all kinds of power that game. Some of that's obviously going to be shipping because robots, it can be a little bit difficult to get a hold of. But man, when you've got the uranium, just get those nuke plants down. Because that, that also certainly contributed to Tudeback's victory. The yeah, idea really, that his debt stayed in check because he just made so much power. They were giving free money to both Dermis and Tudeback. Didn't matter for Dermis, but... It helped Tudeback out a lot, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, well, <laughs> I'm just looking at also fuel purchased for Tudeback. 321,000 auto purchased. Oh boy, that's a, that's and that's a, why he didn't make more money in power. A significant amount. Yeah, yeah, that is, I would consider that noteworthy. Oh boy. What else did we have going on? We had some optimizations. Tudeback kind of just stopped optimizing at some point. I don't know if that was ever actually appropriate this game, but it did eventually occur. And it was an okay bet because Rahi only had 14 optimizations. So he's only lagging by six. And his optimizations were in areas that he made a lot of money in, at least on the electronics and food. I'll give you that. Also, I think he stopped when Kim's were up at like 500. On yeah. the other hand, he did have the building just sitting there the entire time. So it's OK to stop. And but if you're not going to start up, he was uh, mutinying to backs optimization center multiple times, yes, I believe multiple times. And so he got disrupted there as well. Maybe just kind of forgot about it at the end of the day. Still, though, I would have liked to at minimum see it converted to a pleasure dome. If, been, if that's what you're going to do, would have been a good idea. Especially considering the absolute ridiculous amount of money Dermot's made in that Pleasure Dome with two robots. Yeah, two robots still. I mean, that's the Elite Pleasure Dome. It's a strong, strong building. As long as Kims can stay in check. All right. They consume a lot of Kims, though. I think that's most of what I needed to see for this particular game. So uh, that was a uh, very entertaining game be interesting to go on watch again and uh, pay a little bit more attention to what Devarucci was doing since for a long time it seemed like he was in fourth and we just kept on coming back to check up or talking yeah. mainly about the other three but other than that the problem of uh, only having one screen and two voices when casting a four-player FFA <laughs> yeah it's just very difficult to keep track of what everybody's out there doing he was the one to nuke Tude back at the start by the way and then rahi got two yeah. in right before dying Nukes not enough not enough 6k Nukes. not enough that's way too low i mean if there's there's if there is a reason if there is a thing everybody else could have done this game to stop Tude back from winning just nuke his carbon just get rid of it mm-hmm uh -huh. I mean, likewise for Tudeback, nuke Devarucci's water. Yeah, I mean, well, nukes are just fantastic and were heavily underutilized that game, especially on series, because series, 
you always know that you're going to be able to nuke somebody's tiles down to trace. It's going to degrade to medium eventually, no matter what it started as. That's why I did like Dermis move to go ahead and pick up. I love liquid batteries. I love it even more when nukes are available because it's so easy to just control the water market if you get liquid batteries and just nuke everybody else's water in a game like that. Could have seen that move out of Dermis, maybe delay the optimization center, stick in that patent lab. Maybe he could have stayed in this one. It's it's hard to say. There are a lot of different routes you can take in a game off-world. 